All right, hello everyone, it is the Movie Geek, and welcome to another video. So, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I'm back with another VHS and DVD update. Already, it's only been like, what, five days since the last one? Anyways, here's my explanation. So, out of the blue, we decided to go on another trip, and when I was on that trip, I actually just got back this evening, I ended up doing a lot of thrift shopping. And I mean a lot. I went to about 15 stores, and I found quite a lot of rare stuff. And most of it is actually Disney once again. So today I'm going to be going ahead and showing you all of the stuff that I've got. And we are going to be doing this in release date order, in terms of the VHS, when it comes to Disney. So I'm going to try and do them in the order of their release date. Um except for the last one, but you know, if it doesn't work out, oh well. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and start this update now, and by the way, this time I will be doing something different. I'm going to do the DVDs and then the videotapes. So, yeah, let's get started with the three DVDs that I got. First, I've got two Pirates of the Caribbean films, and this first one is Dead Men's Chess. This is apparently the second Pirates of the Caribbean film spine and the back found this at a thrift store um it was about a couple of dollars anyways here is the disc and apparently there's meant to be two discs in here looks like i only got disc one but whatever we also have these little pamphlets which is kind of cool and yeah thought i found that pretty awesome and then we have this one right here. This is Pirates of the Caribbean 3, and it's called At World's End. I believe this is actually the second to last installment in the franchise, as of right now at least. Um, but yeah, this one I got at the same store, and it actually does come in its cardboard box, which is really cool. Um, or its slipcase, whatever you call it. Anyways, here's the casing side back, and then the disc, if I can ever open it. I hate these little things, by the way. They're so annoying. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Yeah, let's take a look in here. You've got the disc. Pretty cool. And, yeah. Pretty awesome. Glad to have it. And now on to the DVD box set that I actually got. Yes, I rarely get DVD box sets, but I did happen to find a pretty cool one. This is the BBC version of The Chronicles of Narnia. This features The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and The Silver Chair. So, here's the spine and the back. You've uh, got the disc listings here. And then if we take a look inside, you've obviously got the three films. Um, or actually the four films, which is really nice. Anyways... Here's the first one. Disc. Um, here is the second one. This actually has two films with it. And if I'm being honest, these are really bad quality films. These were made for TV back in the 90s. Um, so, you know, pretty lame. But they're kind of cool to have for the collection. Um, but yeah, this one has two of them on it. And then, finally, we have the Silver Chair, which, yeah. Alright, the next film. tape I've got is a pretty obscure one. This is um, a family home entertainment release of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe from the Chronicles of Narnia series. And, for some reason, the Chronicles of Narnia is not listed anywhere on the box or on the tape. But, you know, whatever. Um, this is what it looks like, by the way, the case. And here's the label. No print date. I only picked this one up because it's pretty cool. And, you know, it was only like, what, 25 cents? So, I think it was worth it. Alright, and now on to the Disney VHS. So, we are going to start with a duplicate right here. This is my second copy of Walt Disney Home Video Pop and Rock. This is from the DTV series that Disney did, and there's actually four volumes. And so far, I've only found the first volume, but this is a backup copy. I can show you my other copy. Let me just, um, grab it off the shelf. 
This is the other one that I have. It's literally the exact same. There's no difference, except this one has less stickers on it. So you can see the label, see the label of this one, exactly the same. Um, but anyways, push that copy over, and I'm going to quickly show you the label again. No print date. This was apparently from a thrift store called uh, Video Wizard, by the way, I think. So, yeah. Alright, the next anyway. tape I've got, now that i fixed that, is a very rare Disney one. And it's one I did not have. It is the 1985 release of Old Yeller. And I was actually very surprised to find this tape, I will admit. Um, I was not sure if I was going to find any white clamshells, but I'm very glad I did find one. Like, this is actually a very rare release of the film. Um, it is the same movie and everything, by the way. It's just the packaging and the tape contents are rare. Anyways, label, no print date. Or actually, there is a print date, but someone wrote all over it, so whatever. But yeah, very cool. Anyways, that's it for my copy of Old Yeller. And here's a very random Disney tape that I ended up finding. This is not even a series I've watched or I've heard of, or I probably heard of it at some point, but um, this is Disney's Greatest Lullabies, Volume 2. Yep, 1985 tape, no case, uh, print date from November 21st of 1985. Found this at a pawn shop or something. I don't remember what it was, but like, yeah. Anyways, pretty cool, I guess. I'm going to have to put it in a temporary case at some point, like a rental case or something to protect it. By the way, the window is cracked, I will let you know. Um, actually, pretty cracked, but I think the tape will still work. So, yeah, that's it for that one. And then next, we've got my 1986 copy of Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day right here. This is actually in the 1986 case, by the way, as my other copy comes in the 1987 case. So, yeah. I guess I've got two copies. Don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. Uh, probably just keep it, or maybe donate it, label. Um, and there is a print date from October 21st of 1986. Pretty cool. So anyways, there's that one. And then next, we've got another Winnie the Pooh tape. This is the 1987 release of Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Found this one at the same place, by the way. Um, at the Miranda's Thrift Shop or Rescue Center in, um, Fortuna. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, label, no print date. By the way, All right, and then what do we got next? Um, ooh, we've got this rare one right here. This is my copy of Mickey Knows Best, a 1989 release, by the way, that I found at the, um, Miranda's Rescue Center in Fortuna. So, here it is. Very cool. Hold on. I can't get this one out of the case. It's been giving me trouble. Um, anyways. Label. No print date. Or wait, there is a print date, sorry. From April 27th of 1987. Or actually, that's April 22nd, but whatever. You know, still pretty cool to have. And, yeah, also, apparently, this is the first time it was released on home video, according to the case, so, yeah, very happy that I found the original release. However, we're still not done with this update. I've showed you quite a bit of rare stuff, and I've still got quite a few more Disney tapes, um, and honestly, I'm gonna say that these next few ones aren't that rare, but the ones near the end are pretty rare. So, let's just continue on right here with my copy of Winnie the Pooh, The Wishing Bear, from the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh series, and this is a third copy, and I'll show you why I got this third copy in another video, but one, it's the label, and two, it's the case. So anyways, uh, label, no print date, very good condition tape, by the way, I hope, um, I'll have to check it out, but... Yeah, it looks like it'll work fine. I have a couple of other copies, though. They're different variations, but it's still the same cartoons and everything, so... 
I think it's fine if this one's damaged, it just wouldn't be preferred. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then this next one I've already taken out of the case. But this is my 1994 copy of Winnie the Pooh, Cowboy Pooh. And honestly, this case is in awful condition. Um, but you know, whatever. Spines, top, back, and the tape. Very cool. Uh, print date from March 13th, or uh, 14th, of 1994. Very nice. And if we check the film strip really quick, it does not look the best. Um, it does look a little bit worn out, maybe, but I think it should still work. So, yeah. Anyways, very glad I found this one. And then, we have a Disney scene along songs tape that I found today. This is actually a re-release of one I already have, but this is the 12 Days of Christmas from 1994. And I got this at a American Cancer Society thrift store in, um, what is it called? Eureka? Yeah, I got it in Eureka. Anyways, label, print date from August 9th of 1996. So, very cool. And then, we've got this tape right here. This is the 1996 release of Shipwrecked, a second copy that I picked up because I thought it was different. And I'm still not sure if it is different. The label looks slightly different, so I'll have to check it out. If it's not, I'm going to donate it. Um, but yeah, label. Print date from December 9th, 1996. Very cool. Glad to have this one. And then, let's see what we've got next. Ooh, this is a fun one. This is a slipcover copy of the Three Musketeers that I found today. Got this at, um, uh, Miranda's Rescue Thrift Store, but this was not the one in Fortuna, this was the one in Eureka, and, yeah, very glad I found this tape. Label, print date from October, or, uh, sorry, August 23rd, 1995. Happy to have this one once again. Tape should be in good shape, but I do have this in a clamshell, so I don't worry too much if the tape is damaged. Because the whole reason I bought this one was because the cover is different, so... Yeah. Anyways, there's that one. And then, before we get into the rarer stuff, we've got this pretty generic tape. I mean, this is still kind of rare, but this is another volume of Disney Timon and Pumbaa's Wild Adventures. And this is one in a purple case. This is called, um, Don't Get Mad, Get Happy. So, yeah. Pick this one up. Pretty beat up case, honestly. Don't know how well the tape works, if at all. I mean, I don't know how many of these tapes work, if any of them. I assume they all work, though. But, label. Print date from April 9th of 1996. And that is it for this one. Alright, so let's see what we've got next. Ooh, here's a replacement that I got, actually. A copy of Treasure Island from 1997. This copy that I bought actually has the right tape in it. This has the Walt Disney Film Classics release of Treasure Island. And it does have a print date, by the way, from February 5th of 1997. So, yeah. I don't know if the other copy I have has the wrong tape or a misprinted copy, but um, I'm probably going to get rid of it unless it is a misprint and it just somehow, you know, is meant to be the 1997 print, but it has the wrong label. Because I keep that, but if it's just the 1995 tape in the wrong case, no reason for it. 